So walking through C2E2, I see this, Athena Voltaire Cypher. And I pan down, and I see this dude here. How are you, Steve? I'm great, how are you? Good, good, good. Tell me now, I understand just uh, this weekend you had a nice uh, announcement about uh, Athena Voltaire. Yes, um, we are moving to Dark Horse Comics, uh, part of their sequential pulp uh, imprint, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really excited. That's sweet. Now, get, for people who don't know, give kind of a nutshell of what Athena Voltaire is all about. It's a 1930s pulp adventure. It's it's Indiana Jones starring a Joss Whedon-style female pilot. Nice. So, yeah, you've got Nazis, monsters, explosions. That's pretty much it. You know, that, that's the, the, the elevator pitch. <laughs> That is that is kind of a, a hard to beat equation right there, my friend. And now, 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 tell me a little bit about the the other title I see behind you there, Cipher. Um, well, it's it's kind of an example of playing to an audience that you know you have. Okay. Uh, for a while, when uh, the rights issues with Athena Voltaire were up in the air, uh, my collaborator was leaving the, the project, and we weren't sure how it was all going to, you know. Play out. Right, right. Uh, I wanted to come up with something that I knew I could uh, sell to my existing audience. Okay. And so I created uh, kind of a modern take on Doc Savage. Oh, nice. Ursula Wild, Doc Wild, I see. Doc Savage. Nice. Um, and so I kind of fleshed out this, this whole pulpy, modern, modern pulpy adventure. Nice. And it was a lot of fun. And then suddenly Paul Daly and I uh, amicably settled all the Athena Voltaire stuff. So I could go back to my first love, <laughs> but I had this this really cool adventure already lined up for this totally different character. Right. And my friend uh, and fellow artist June Bob Kim uh, volunteered to draw it for me. Nice. So he's been plugging away. He's he's an amazing draftsman, just a terrific storyteller, great at staging action sequences, and uh, he's plugging away on that. We're not sure if we're going to to shop it. Okay. Or to launch it as a webcomic because okay. that worked pretty well for me the first time around. I was going to say that's so, where Athena Voltaire started. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, actually, uh, I'm proud to say we were nominated for an Eisner Award the first year that they had that yeah. as a category. Nice. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm sorry. I'm really I will denied. edit that out or not. We'll okay. <laughs> So yeah, um, the, the web stuff is a, a good place for us, so I have a feeling that might be where we launch Cypher. And yeah, to further distinguish it from Athena Voltaire, instead of just going with, you know, Steve likes women with weird last with weird names, <laughs> Ursula Wilde with Athena Voltaire, we, we uh, tightened the, the ensemble quality of it by just calling it Cypher. Nice, there you go. There you go. And where can people find uh, all the info about both these stories, or at least Athena Voltaire? Um, Actually, you can follow me on Twitter at okay. stevebryantart.com, nice. and I'll have information about the new Cypher slash Ursula Wild website and the new Athena Voltaire website. Nice. Well, we look forward to both those, and congrats on uh, being uh, picked up by Dark Horse, man. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm really excited. Well, thanks for taking some time. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you.